Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Ultraman Orb review for you today. Uh, this is the deluxe vinyl doll for Zep Pandon, which is a fusion of Zepton and Pandon. Uh, in one of the more recent episodes, Jugglus Juggler used the cards for each and his kind of dark uh, orb ring or dark ring and fused those cards together and made what we see here. Uh, Zep Pandon. I keep wanting to say Zepton, but that's just the one. In any case, uh, Zep Pandon, as you can see, he's got a ridiculously long tail, which I like a lot. Uh, unfortunately, it does not move. I kind of wish, like, right here, where it kind of looks like there's a point of articulation, I kind of wish there was. But I guess it doesn't really make sense due to the fact that, you know, there's not really much room for it to move. But really nice paint, and I love these kind of thick plate scales down the back. I like the paint and coloring there. whole lot of texture molded into the sides here. And it's a really nice looking tail. It looks like a creepy centipede or something. It's really, really neat. Uh, you do have leg movement here, and then you have arm movement here, and that's going to do it. But really nice paint. I'll try to get in close to the face so you can see... See if we can get that. To, there you go, a little brighter. So you can see he's got blue eyes, kind of a gray face. Got some gold here for the ears, yellow on the crest. And then, of course, he's got the yellow pec muscles that Zetan is kind of known for. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to zoom this back out here. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a nice vinyl doll. He was kind of one of the cheaper. Uh, deluxe vinyl doll. Some of these get ridiculous, uh, and they get to be like $30, but this guy was about, I think, 1,600 yen, or 2,000 yen, depending on where you pick them up. Um, I think I paid 1,600 at, uh, Hobby Link Japan. So, very cool. Here is the tag that he comes with. Not much going on there, but there was a card inside. So you can see... Now, this is one card for Zep Pandon. The most recent card set, which I also have and we'll be taking a look at in a couple days here, um, has a card for Zeton and a card for Pandon, and you can actually fuse those together. But this guy actually comes with a card of the fused form. So I think that's kind of neat that they decided to do the two individual cards so you could replicate the fusion and then also give you a card for the fusion itself. So let's go ahead and check this out in the DX Orb Ring. So we'll go ahead and turn the orb ring on. So you get a really cool uh, couple of special effect sounds there. A really cool like beam powering up and then destructive sound when you hit the button the second time. Now you can see here that it's only counting as one half. So if you do the two cards to form Zep Pandon, that's going to take up both sides. But if you use this card, it only counts as one. So I'm wondering if we're going to see on the show... This guy fusing with an Ultraman, or maybe this guy fusing with another monster to make a crazy three-time monster. I'm not sure. Uh, only time will tell with that. Um, but I think that's a really neat possibility that I think, especially this guy fused with an Ultraman, I think could be really cool. So, have to wait and see what's in store there. But I do appreciate that you're getting the fusion monster, but he only takes up one side of the DX orb ring. I think that's neat. So I think this is a really fun vinyl doll. I mean, it's got great detail, great paint apps, decent amount of articulation, which is pretty standard for uh, vinyl dolls in the Ultraman orb line and Ultraman line in general. Um, but yeah, he's not super expensive as far as deluxe Ultraman, uh, you know, vinyl dolls or vinyl monsters go. His tail is really long and it's almost kind of a detriment just because he takes up so much space 
front to back. I mean, I kind of have to bring him super close to the camera just to get him to fit in the review station just because his tail. I kind of would have maybe liked his tail to just kind of stop about here. Just like a half inch shorter than it is. It's not a huge problem. It just makes things a little awkward. But he's definitely, I mean, the paint apps look great. I love the detail, the amount of articulation. Again, you would think there'd be one in the tail, but I understand why there's not just because it would kind of just turn side to side and wouldn't really move all that much as it is. So really no sense to do it. But I do appreciate that he comes with a card where the fusion only takes up one side of the orb ring because then that brings in the possibility of fusing this already fused monster with somebody else. And it also, if you buy the card set, uh, card set that came out, you can replicate fusing the monster. But I guess what I'm trying to say is it's nice that no matter which version you buy, you're not getting the same thing. So it gives you an incentive to buy both. Because one lets you replicate replicate the fusion of this monster, and then by picking this up, you get the ability to fuse him with somebody else. So I think it's kind of a nice bonus. They could have easily just, you know, just given you just this or just the other two cards, but by giving you both, or they could have not included a card with this guy. So I appreciate that they invented something new, so it gives you an incentive to pick up both because both give you different possibilities. So I appreciate that. In any case. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the uh, deluxe vinyl doll for Zep Pandan for Ultraman Orb. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.